everybody here on Satya. Today I wanted to do a quick video about amber, how to know when amber is real and when it's fake. As you might know, about 90% of the amber on the market today is fake, it's not real amber. So there is nothing worse, I believe, when, when you buy an amber um, that they claim is natural, real amber, you're gonna pay, you know, a nice amount of money because amber is expensive. So if you buy amber, um, it's real and it's costly, that's the way it's supposed to be. But if you buy amber and you pay a lot of money and then it's fake, that's pretty messed up. And I think it's wrong when people do that. So today I was gonna put some of the new amber jewelry that I have and I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to make a video and show people um, how to know when amber is real or not, because it's not that difficult. Um, and in five minutes, you know, uh, I hope I can show you, um, make the video quick. So there are a few ways to know if amber is real or not. Some will not harm the amber, and others, you know, it will be a little bit more invasive, but it's a sure way to know. And then there is also ways um, to know if it's real, will not ha harm the amber, and it will be like a super easy test to do. So what you're going to need, for example, here I have a bowl with water and a lot of salt. And here I have some little pieces of paper. Here I have a needle. And here I have um, UV light, a uh, fluorescent uh, flashlight, because that's actually the best way to know when amber is real or not. So, okay, let's start. I have some, um, these beautiful pieces of amber. This is amber, 100% natural amber. This is raw amber. And I have uh, many pieces here. And then this is fake amber. So I have it here for display. This is one of my own necklace. This is real amber right here. And then these are some of the pendants that I wanted to put today on the website. Um, this is real amber too. And I will show you uh, how can you see that is real amber or not. So, okay. What are the ways to know if amber is real without damaging the amber? Um, the easiest test is with the water and salt. But it's more difficult if you want to test jewelry because jewelry has a metal, has silver, gold, or any other kind of metal, and it will make it heavier, so it will go to the bottom of the um, ball, even if it's real amber. So this is not the best way to do for jewelry, unless I'm gonna test with this one, because this one is made um, with, um, um, I don't know, a different material, it's not metal. So it will be, you know, very light. So if you put this in the water bowl, it will flow. I know from there you cannot see it. I'm gonna come close with the camera in a little bit to show you closer, but I just wanted to quickly show you the things that I'm going to do and then I come close with the camera. So this is floating right now which shows and is real amber because if no, it will drop, you know, to the, to the bottom of the bowl. Okay, now I have these pieces, for example, this is a big, nice, chunky piece, but it's real amber. So once again, even if it's like a large piece, if I put this on water, it's gonna float. And that shows you that amber is real, 100% real. Now, unfortunately, I don't have um, fake amber like in beads without um, yearly to show you. So if I put this, of course it will go down to the bottom. Not because it has metal, you know, but it's fake amber too, so it wouldn't make any difference. Now, another great way to know if it's real that won't harm the amber is by doing uh, the test with some wool. So I have here this um, wool um, rag, yeah, my accent, sorry. Um, this rag, 
And as you know, Amber is a study. So let's grab, I wet this piece. Let's grab this piece. So if you have like um, um, any kind of clothes or sweater that is uh, wool, if you don't have, you know, a rug, for example, what you're going to do is you're gonna wrap. Don't look at my arm right now. So you are going to wrap, okay, the amber against the wool. The more you do, the better. But you know, we don't wanna stay here like for 10 minutes doing this. So when amber is real and you do this, if you can close to paper now, you will see, you see how it's picking up paper? It will pick up paper and it will stick to the amber because it's real. If you do this with fake amber, it will not stick to the to the paper. So we can do that with this for example. We know it's fake, I know it's fake, but in, you know, just to do the test, I'm gonna rub it on the, the wool rack, okay. And now, if I come close to, you see absolutely nothing happens because it's fake. So this is another great way to know if amber is real without damaging it. The other test, which this will harm amber, but you can do it a very um, gently, like in a small part of the amber piece, you're going to burn a needle and you're gonna make it really hot because amber is a resin and it's a very soft material. So when you put the needle, ah, oh, poño, me acabo de quemar, through real amber, it will not only go through, but it will create, okay, let me, that was the wet piece, so that wasn't really a good idea. Let me try another piece that I didn't put on the water. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, so if you bought, look, you see, well, I'm still from there, you don't see it, but it's a smoke coming out of it, and then it has this, like, you know when you walk down the forest and you see a pine tree and you grab some of the leaves, not leaves, you know, but the flakes of the tree, and you smell, and it has this incredible, like, a scent of resin, of pine tree. But it's the same thing with amber. And at the same time, if you see a little piece fell off, when I, look here it is, when I warm it up with, um, with the needle, because it will break off and you know, some of the pieces might you know, fall off. So when you burn amber, okay, let me do this. Um, when you burn real amber, that's what you can do with the needle without really hurting the amber. So you're gonna warm it up, you put the needle through, it will burn through the needle, some smoke will come out, and then you can feel that essence of the pine tree, of a resin, that's real amber. If you do, of course, that with fake amber, yeah, it will go through because plastic, you can burn plastic, but then the smell done with leaf is, you know, like plastic, like a burn plastic, so that's fake. Now, this is another great way to know if amber is real, but it will damage, you know, the piece a little bit. So I'm going to sacrifice this beautiful piece of amber for the intention of showing you in this video. So if you warm up, if you burn amber, see what happened. Okay, wait, I have some wool here. If you burn amber, okay, well, you see the smoke is, you see? It's gonna burn. You see the smoke coming out? You see that? And the smell is like incredible. I mean, the only thing when you do this, you might mess up the piece, but oh, it's gonna leave you like so relaxed and so, I don't know, it's a very relaxing accent. It's, and it smells so, so good. So that's another way to know, you know, if amber is real. If you burn amber and it doesn't um, hold the fire or, you know, start the fire in the piece 
and you don't see the smoke and the smell that's fake amber so this is a way to do it but it will damage the the amber of course so it's not the most desirable way to do it but it's for sure a way to know if amber is real or not so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come close with the video. I'm going to do the same test that I did before, but I want you to see it closely. I'm gonna put the real necklace into the water with salt so you can see how it floats. I'm gonna do the same with these pieces. Um, then the next test that we will be doing will be in the dark room with the UV light because when amber is real and you are in a dark room with a UV light, the real amber becomes fluorescent, a beautiful, beautiful fluorescent color, like um, green, orangey, yellow, very um, fluorescent. So that's how you know it's real. If it's not real, it will just, you know, it will, it will nothing happen. But you're gonna see that when we do the test. So I'm gonna go and get the camera, I'm gonna come close, and I'm gonna show you the things uh, close. Okay guys, so here I am with the camera uh, closed. These are the pieces of amber that I was showing you before. This is raw amber. This is the piece that I did uh, born here, as you can see. I mean, it messed up a little bit the piece when you, you know, put fire on it, but it's not very noticeable because amber, you know, I mean, look at the pieces still. You, you wouldn't know unless I tell you. So now that I'm close, I'm going to do the test again because I want you to see when you burn amber, real amber, okay, not only it caught in fire, all right, but look, you see the smoke? And then the smell, well, of course, you cannot smell through the camera. That would be wonderful. But as you see, there was a smoke coming out and um, that shows you that it's real amber and then the scent is very peculiar. Um, so it's very easy to identify. Now, this is the necklace that I have. This is mine. Okay, and like I was telling you, it's made with, um, I don't know, like a piece of cord. It's not uh, metal. So that's why when you put it on the water, this is the bowl with water and salt, okay? So I'm gonna put it inside and you're going to see, you see how it floats? And it floats because it's real amber. It wouldn't be real amber, it wouldn't float. See? See how it's floating? The only piece you can see that is at the bottom is this. This is the only part of metal that it has. But everything else, it was floating. So that's how you know that it's real amber because real amber will float in water with salt. Now we are going to pick a piece of amber from here. Yeah, this one. Okay, this one. This is a big one. So like I was telling you, even if it's a big piece of amber, if it's real amber and you put it in water, you see how it floats? So it floats because it's real amber, regardless of how big the piece it is. That's how you know that amber is real. If this will be fake amber, it will be all the way to the bottom. You see, but it floats. You see how it goes up? Okay, so that's, that's a way to know if amber is real. Okay guys, so now I am in the dark room while well, the door is open because I wanted to show you the display first. This is the necklace, this is real. This is real, as we can see in the other video. This is the fake amber and these are the new pendants. Um, this is real. Now, why do I have this here? When you do this test, you want to use some uh, glasses that can protect your eyes from UV light um, because this light can hurt your eyes so that's what you want to do so when we uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close the door we're gonna go into dark complete darkness <gasps> now we are in the dark okay so now i am going to oh, i don't see anything <laughs> okay so now let me put this here I am going to turn on the, there we go here. 
So, okay, so this is, um, so when I go with the light, okay, do you see how fluorescent, can you see? You know, look, this is more like, a, you see the fluorescent? Okay, here we go, here, can you see more? So when it's real amber, you see, um, it's like a fluorescent, some colors will pop up. Sometimes it's uh, more like a orange, look, you see that? It's more like a, like a green, um, you see that? And that's real amber. Okay, now this is the necklace, remember? So when we, so, oh. So when we, okay, do you see how, it's a little hard with the, with the phone doing it. Okay, but you see how the beads of amber, they um, kind of like a yellow, uh, green, fluorescent. Okay, and now this is going to be the, the other pieces of amber. It just, I find very difficult with the phone to really show you guys without the phone, you can see so good. But as you, you can see, I hope you can see how the pieces become more fluorescent. And this is the real, the fake amber that as you can see, you know, even though it's, okay, let me try. Sorry, it's kind of like a messy video. Okay, here you can see better the fluorescent. You see how it become fluorescent? And then this is the fake piece. And as you can see, absolutely anything happens because it's fake. But if I grab one of these, okay, let me see if I can show. Do you see how, how, to, you see that? That's how you know it's real amber. You see how fluorescent it become? It's kind of like a, like a green fluorescent. That's because real amber. Now let me try with the necklace now, like this, here. okay. So you see how the beads, um, there you go, you see how the beads become fluorescent? That's because it's real amber. And if you grab one of these pieces, the same, sorry, it's a little difficult to, okay. okay you see how it's fluorescent, how it turns kind of like a green fluorescent? And once again, with the fake amber, absolutely nothing happens because it's fake. I mean, you see the purple of the light, but you see how the the bead of amber um, is exactly the same because it's plastic. But with real amber, you see, it becomes fluorescent. And with the piece of amber, you see, it becomes fluorescent. That's how you know it's real amber. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of this room now. Okay, so I am back from the dark room. Um, I hope that this video shows you in a clear way um, how to know when amber is real or when amber is fake. Um, like, like we um, have, you know, um, covered on the video. There are some ways to test amber without hurting the amber. Um, a static, uh, wool, the paper, uh, with the needle, you hurt a little bit, but not that much. That's a wonderful way, and the water, especially water with salt, as you could see, it did flow, that shows you that amber is real. And then the other way without harming it is with the UV light, as you could see in the, in the black room. Um, the real amber turn into very beautiful, like fluorescent color. That's because it's real. If it's fake, absolutely nothing will happen. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this video, I really like to educate people about um, the crystal healing and crystals. But one thing that I have mentioned before in my videos, it really bothers me when people scam others. Or like they said, like, look, it, if I want to send you something and it's synthetic or if it's man-made, like I told you, for example, gold stone is man-made. 
And some of the healing kits that I do, they do have gold stone uh, for the prosperity kits. So I am not 100% against some crystals that might not be 100% natural, but at least just tell people, just tell them so they know. And then if they wanna buy it or not, but amber, for example, amber is very expensive and nothing is more, what will be the right word to say? Oh, I don't know, it will piss me off a lot. And, and you too, I'm sure. If you pay like $150 for a pendant of amber that's supposed to be real and then it turned out to be fake or to be cobalt, which is sold as amber, but it's not real amber. So I thought before putting this on my website, what about if I make a very quick video and I show people, um, you know, I take this opportunity to show people how to recognize when amber is real and when amber is fake. So I hope this video um, was helpful to you in any kind of way. I also want to apologize for the, no bees will be the right word, you know, like I'm not really good at making videos. I'm not an expert. I'm not a video editor, none of that. I'm just a normal woman that love crystals and love to share what I know with people. And my videos might be a little crappy made, but I think the important, or at least I hope that what you get from my videos is the educational tips and then you can use in your own life regardless if the video is very professional or not. I know it was a hot mess in there, but I think, you know, at least if you could see what happened when you use uh, UV light, um, get, oh, by the way, I got this one on Amazon for like $6 and free shipping. So it's not really expensive. You can invest $6 and then that's a wonderful way um, to test um, not only amber, I mean, there are other crystals that the best way to know if they are real or not is with these. So get one, invest on this, it's a wonderful way. And um, you will not harm your jewelry. You can use this and it will be a very safe way to test if amber is real or not. And your only investment will be $6. So I think it's worth it. So. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful to you. I'm gonna keep doing um, more videos, especially because you guys keep asking me to do that and I'm really grateful actually that you are watching my channel and you enjoy my videos because I really like to share with you the things that I know. Um, on the next coming video, I'm going to be talking about, a little bit about me, who I am, um, basically who I am to talk to you about crystals. Um, Cause I want you to know um, why I'm doing this. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I see you in the next video. Namaste guys.